but in this video, we're going to go over keywords and research and the keyword tool inside of BookBold and probably talk about activity books and anything else you guys want to know. Uh, but I think, Jacob, our goal here is to find maybe two or three idea, like low competition ideas, right? So things where you're not going to be competing against 3,000 other people. We're not going to be looking at, you know, unicorn books. There's probably 10,000 plus unicorn books, but things where we can actually get started, throw up a book, and we're competing against maybe like 100 people, max, maybe, and actually make sales. So let's go ahead. Here. Let's see, Neil, loved your blog article today. So inspired. Awesome. Yeah, no, we're going to be talking about activity books as well um, because that is what that blog article was about, kind of how to spruce those up. Um, but we can actually take a look. So, Jacob, do you want to share your screen or I can maybe share mine? Yep. Let's see. Share screen. Make sure I'm selecting the right screen here. So we actually... Let me add this to the stream. All right. So we actually updated the keyword tool inside of Bookbull. It is a lot, lot better. And we're going to show you how this works here. So first thing you want to do is grab a free Bookbull account if you don't have one. This right here is what I've been doing for the past couple of weeks is using this tool to find really low competition niches that I can actually compete in. Okay. I am kind of done uploading the you know, blank journals, just the simple templates. Now I'm using more research to find, you know, books that have low competition, but I can also sell for a higher price. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the article we put out today, but activity books can definitely command a higher price. So let me make this a little bit bigger so I can see Jacob's screen here. Why don't you go ahead and just type activity book? Um, that's basically what I started off with. All righty. So activity books loaded here. Um, one thing I will say is sticker activity book pops up first. I try to stay away from this. Okay. Because a lot of times sticker activity book, sure, you could create one where you could put stickers in it and everything. But a lot of kids sticker activity books come with stickers. That's true. That's true. I mean, what we're basically looking here for, if you don't already have a book. So there's two ways to go about this, right? One, you actually start your research off with a book in mind, or two, you are figuring out, hey, what should I go and look for to find if it's got, you know, people buying it on Amazon, which is basically, excuse me, what we are doing in this case. So I don't know. Let me open this up on my own screen so that I can see it. Why don't we just start picking books and checking them out on Amazon here? All right. And then again, there's something I see right here. It is the um, Paw Patrol activity book here. Something like this, again, stay away from. If you see a word, you know, Paw Patrol, you don't know what it is. Just go over to Amazon or Google and throw that in there. OK, and see what comes back. If you start seeing like cartoons and um, Nickelodeon and anything that relates to a brand, stay away from it. You don't want to get in trouble. It's not worth the headache. Um there. So Neil, do you also have this up the same thing? Yes. I'm, I'm looking through it as well. There's a lot of different niches here and there's two things I'm looking at, right? I'm looking at the keyword and phrase because I want to make sure one, like I saw a Minecraft activity book in there. We don't want to do Minecraft. We don't own Minecraft, but I'm looking at the keyword and phrase and I'm making sure that first column actually has a few hundred searches in it. Cause that's going to be the Amazon search volume to tell you like, okay, people are actively searching for this. And those are the keywords we want to go after. We don't want to use a keyword that has like 10 searches a month, right? We put a lot of effort in it, put a book up on Amazon. It could be the most amazing looking book, but if no one's looking for it, at the end of the day, we'll just sit there and we'll be like, oh my gosh, you know, like no sales. Why do we waste our time on this? So you want the keywords that you're targeting to have search volume. So I don't know if you've picked up on this, but there's a lot of things for couples on here. I don't know if you've seen it, but I've seen numerous couples activity book, big couples activity book. Um, there was another one just down here, lower, where to go, couples, activity books, so plural. There's, um, a lot, there's a lot you can do with activity books. It doesn't have to, or excuse me, couples books. They don't have to be activity books. Like there's some couples books for Valentine's Day where, you know, each blank page is like, oh, this is what I like about you. This is what I'm doing for you, blah, 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 blah. And they're pretty long and extensive, but there are definitely some good sellers in there. 
Um, right here <laughs> is Melissa and Neil activity book. There we go. Uh, I saw no. one. I saw one that you scrolled through. Um, find Spider Man activity book, and it's right below there. Let's see, where is Spider-Man? I wonder who Melissa and Doug are. I don't know. Girls activity book? No, let's see. It was somewhere on your screen. I thought I saw it. Uh, Ramadan activity book. Let's take a look at that one first, um, because I think that one, I just looked that up. Let's see here. Where is that? Just do a control F and search for it. Right there. Okay. So the first thing I see, Ramadan activity book, right? That is a religious uh, holiday. I Hopefully I'm not butchering that. <laughs> so we'll enter that in. But if you go back real quick to Bookful, the other thing I saw is that it had 400-something searches a month. So 402 on Amazon, 390-ish on Google. So one that tells you, hey, it's not the most searched term on Amazon, right? A couple hundred searches a month. Um, but it's very specific, okay? Like a religious holiday probably one that you know we don't really talk about or think about that much so i thought that was interesting you pop it over on amazon here uh, which jacob has already done how many searches a month is that i mean well, how many uh products 166 yeah. one one oh, so i'm getting 163 you're getting uh 166 interesting all right let's take a look at the results here there is uh some of these aren't related Little Rockets Boosting Journey, a sponsored <laughs> product. So let's see, Ramadan and Fasting Activity Book, My 30 Days of Ramadan. And look at the sales uh, rank on that, though. Oh, yeah, they're crushing it. So there's less than 200 results. Okay, there, and my screen says 163, Jacob says 166. We know it gets 400 plus searches a month. Just looking through these results, we see the ones that are actually relevant are have tons of reviews, right? Like, which one is that? How many reviews does that one have? Um, this one has two. Two. Okay. The first ones I'm seeing on the screen at the very top have a lot more. Yes. Uh, 59 on this one 59. here. 59. Yeah. Is there a look? There's not a look inside on that one. That's strange. How many pages? So the next thing I'll look at, right, is I'll look at the number of pages. And I'll say 32, 32 pages. 32 pages. And look at the ranking on that. 22,000. That's Let's insane. look all time. So you can see every year it dips, same time of the year. Um, so it dips, it'll climb, it'll dip, it'll climb, it'll dip. But still, even since this book has gone live, let's do in like the last, this is in the last three years here. What the highest BSR this book has had in the last three years was for a split second at, let's see here. 867,000 BSR in the it's last three under, years. It's been under a million sales rank for over a thousand days. Yes. That's probably an easy way to look about it. It's got 59 reviews. It's priced at 595, but the book is only 30 something pages. So like they're making some good money on this book. I wish there was a look inside for that one. So do I. It would make things a lot easier to kind of look at this, get a feel for what they're actually doing. Um, so the next thing I do, if there's not a look inside button, you go to the reviews, go back to that book, go back to that book, scroll down to the reviews. And sometimes you'll get lucky and you'll see, Hey, look at this. They show you exactly what's inside the book. And it's these type of drawings, right? So like, okay, can you create these drawings? Me personally? Hell no. I can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't draw anything, but seeing the research that we just did, it took 10 seconds. We found a keyword. We noticed that the keyword has like no results on Amazon. It's getting a lot of sales. It's got a lot of reviews. And now I know what the inside looks like. So I can go find my own illustrator to create the exact type, same type of book, not the same illustrations, the same type of book. You, you're looking at one here. What was that one? Uh, it was one further down. Let's take a look at this one. It's ranked better. We'll get to that one down below. This one actually has a look inside, has 53 reviews. So still doing well. Let's see. Which is literally 108 pages. So it is longer. It is a lot longer, 108 pages. And this book has been on here for a very long time. But look at this BSR recently. Super, super long. So all time. There's those same dips we were talking about before. Yep. And this this book, if this book has a look inside, and you can definitely tell that, hey, you know, this one took a little bit more effort. This isn't as simple as just putting up, you know, lined pages, so on and so forth. Um, but 
So again, in the last five years, the highest rank here is 930,000. So less than a million in the last five years. That's crazy good. That is insane. So yeah, every year you can see those drops this time of the year. Um, Take a look that's... inside though, because I, I think the major point we have to make here, like they put a cover page on there, right? The cover looks really good, sticks out, it's simple. The interiors, people put a little bit more effort into them. This isn't the same thing as downloading, you know, a lined journal template. We have plenty of those. They're free. Go grab them. It's going to take a little bit of extra effort. But we just saw that over the last five years, that little bit of extra effort has been bringing this person in a lot of money. I don't know. Let's see what the rank on this is. 5,000. Yeah. So, they're, I mean, they're selling quite a few of these every single day. And these graphics here are very basic. You know, Neil, you could probably do something like this. It, it might look a little bit butchered, um, but I could probably try, probably try. And then, so then just little activity games. I know nothing about Ramadan. Um, I, I, know I, don't, very... I don't either, but you'd have, that's part of the process, right? If you don't know something, you should one, figure out if you can do it anyways. You don't want to be infringing. And two, like the second step before you even begin is like, educating yourself on said topic because otherwise if you don't you're going to look like an idiot yes um so I, I mean none of these graphics are too intense sure there's some writing in here oh look a puzzle book very very basic um crossword puzzle here but all of these things are basic there is more writing in this so it kind of becomes a more of a i don't know medium content book i guess you could say just because of the amount of content they are putting in this but you know at 5000 bsr and you look at this chart a like little bit from, of, yeah. Just from doing this for a while, I can guarantee that this book is making at least five hundred dollars a month. Oh, easily, easily. especially it's, it's right now, it's a crushing bit over that. A thousand. Yeah, right now it's crushing it. So, I mean, would you rather hypothetically, right, put up five hundred books, or just do a little bit of research, find a good keyword that isn't just spam to hell, put a little bit more effort into it, and make more money that way, like? Yes, volume is good, but this type of volume is better. Let's see. It's gone down as low as like 960, 995, 969 BSR. So it's dropped pretty low uh, every year. And every year it drops very, very low like that. So if we look here, the lowest 2000. Uh, I mean, this book is just crushing it. But let's keep going through here. But this makes this makes sense. I'm looking at the comments right now, and apparently Ramadan is just getting ready to start. Um, it looks like yeah, April twenty April twenty <laughs> April twenty third. That's literally today. Oh, what that? How perfect is that? We found a keyword that literally I know nothing about inside a book bolt. We found that hey, it does get searched every single month, and for some reason, it starts today. What a perfect example. Let me ask you, did you know that before I, we started I this? I literally just Googled it. Um, apparently, it ends on May 23rd, so it's a month long. Okay. I did not know that either. Interesting. So here's some look inside of, from actual customers. Um, you can see it looks good. It's it's not intense. None of these illustrations are, you know, crazy illustrations or that are going to, if you have a, you know, a illustrator that are going to cost you 50 dollars an image to create or anything these should all be you know fairly cheap to have created if you are outsourcing just because you know they don't have to color it's all line art um i'd probably estimate anywhere between like for just that simple art maybe like two to ten bucks each yes um, yeah that's a big range right but it just depends on who you get what you, what you're asking for how complex the stuff is that stuff is really really easy that should take anyone with experience probably like one minute to make. Yeah, I mean, this they could bust through. They could probably bust through a good bit of images an hour to do this. So, I mean, it depends on if you're paying per image or per hour. I mean, you can find those kind of people on Upwork all day, every day. I have a few illustrators myself, um, full-time guys that I employ. You know, definitely worth it. They can crank this stuff out so fast. That's why I always laugh when, you know, people spend – four hours drawing something i'm like it takes this other guy 15 minutes why would i spend for me it'd be way more than four hours <laughs> why why would i spend that much time trying to create that when i can just like figure out what's going to sell and then 
get someone else to create the hard parts that I can put it together. Yes. Uh, so, you know, here's another good book. Now, I wouldn't necessarily jump into this this year. Um, if you did, just expect like it might do really well at the beginning and then kind of fade off until next year. Um, you know, I'd probably put it up beginning of the year, start trickling in some AMS at this and attack it. Yeah, AMS, right? I mean, dude, that AMS thing is huge. I, I need to do some articles about that. Um, but AMS on KDP, super easy. Super, so super, super easy. This look inside here, it's kind of funny um, because you get this book belongs to, and then a blank page, and then free little Muslims around the world, enjoy your Ramadan, make it different. Okay, and then blank page, and then you get one, this is Omar. <laughs> okay. And, and, then that's all you, and then that's all you get. <laughs> so something I always try to recommend with people, um, when they're just, you know, at the beginning of your book, it's okay to have two, three, four pages of information, samples, uh, because if they opened, if we opened up here and on this second page for this look inside, they had four different pages here as like layouts, as samples, like you might see on the back of some books. Then if anyone who looks at this look inside, they're going to understand what this book consists of. Because right now, all we know is there's a kid named Omar in it. Other than that, we know, you know, we know nothing about this book on the back cover. They don't have any samples. Um, so you know, it's kind of difficult. It can be kind of difficult to say, you know, hey, yeah, this is a really good example. See what they're doing when, you know, this book belongs to and a kid named Omar is in it. A kid named Omar. Not bad. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back inside a book because I just found another one. So I'm scrolling through here. I, see if you can find the geology activity book. Right here? Yes. All right. Doesn't get that many searches, right? But let's look at it on Amazon because I just I'm scrolling through here and I'm picking out different niches, right? So activity books is what we search for, but the goal is to find things that people are actually buying. It doesn't matter if ten thousand people search for it and buy nothing. And you start looking through here, and there there's not that many. First of all, there's under four hundred results, but a lot of these are not relevant to what we actually search for. I mean, you're seeing dinosaurs um you're seeing rock collecting those aren't really activity books that so here's activity. one this is a stem one packed with activities and geology facts no look inside and it doesn't look this is definitely not a kdp book no there's no price it's not like available and this is a full-on illustrated book with a lot of so yeah this is a stem learning book here um so again not what we're going after little learning labs geology for kids geology uh, so okay i see one that's definitely kdp it's got a black cover on it right there all right it was put up packed with 50 word search puzzles of geology vocabs so jake we did a live like a few weeks ago i think it was a few weeks ago maybe it was like a week ago where we talked about like you know different book types instead of packing all 50 word search puzzles mixing and matching them does a lot lot better now this one has a really bad sales rank right yeah but, it's 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 bad well it's got a terrible cover you i mean the first thing you see is just a bunch of jumbled well can good. you see my screen right now are you looking at yes. it yes go ahead Take a look at the word bank for this puzzle. All right. Wow. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, what? Why are they wrong? It's backwards and sideways. <laughs> so like words. Um, words are hard. So this is a good, I mean, this is a good example of finding a good idea and seeing extremely poor execution of said idea. And I'm both of the pages I can see here in the preview are like that. Um, I mean, I'm really trying. Like this says lead, lava. Um, yeah, that's why just. Why are the words backwards? I have no idea. Extra challenging, you know? Is this <laughs> is this is this the extreme version? Um, I don't know, but yeah, it's it's not a good BSR. The words but, are backwards. But now, we, but now we know why, right? Yes. Like, terrible execution the i was cover, really I hoping i can't see on the cover right away like you were just scrolling really fast i saw it there i have no idea what it says because the 
words are so small. So uh, let's keep moving through here. Did you see any other ones? I see some science stuff. Let me see. No, I mean, that's. Yep. I mean, on the front page, I really don't. There was two things. One wasn't a KDP book and one was backwards <laughs> sideways. So right there is another niche that literally any one of you guys can go into. It's have getting pretty, search results. Have pre, it's getting search results. People search for it. Um, and there's really no, there's not that many, there's what, two books that might even be competing. The rest are completely different. Yes. I mean, everything else is all learning books and picture books and um, different things like that. But everything else, there's no activity books or coloring books here for it. Um, let's change the search result around real quick just to see if anything comes back. Let's do coloring book instead of activity. Okay. So less results here. Uh, and I would say let's make this for kids. So adult. Let's see. Here's another one. Oh, that's not even the same niche. Um, Rocks and Minerals coloring book. Let's see. They're pricing super duper cheap. Age ranges. So I this is a, like a coloring book. So here's one. But again, this is a pretty poor quality coloring book. It should not be this pixelated within um, all of those dots and textures and everything. I understand you want in there. And this book doesn't do very well either, and I can understand why. But again, even in the coloring book space, there's not very much here for kids, if anything. Um, let's see. I see Ro one. Ge Geologist Life, a snarky adult coloring book. All right. Two reviews. It was near the top. Yeah, right there. Right there. Two reviews. Been up not very long. September 22nd, 2019. Taking a look inside, like fifty-three okay. pages. Take a look inside. This is this is a good. I mean, the back cover shows exactly what you're getting. So if you just scroll down to the bottom, bam, right there. Like that stuff, super easy to make. I know it looks complicated. Um, that each one of those probably costs you what five, five to ten dollars. Probably about ten bucks. Yeah. Yeah, probably about ten dollars. I've created uh, and don't do Yoda. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. I don't know if you noticed that, Neil, but yeah, don't do Yoda. Um, not worth it. Not worth the risk. Sure, people might buy it just because Yoda's on there. Don't do that. Um, you will get busted at some point and you don't want... It's not worth risking your account. Let's take a look at these two reviews. So both four star, nothing said so far. 132,000. It's only 53 pages long, so realistically, they're probably one-sided. Um once you actually get in here, yeah, they're probably just one sided. So, you know, what, 26 pages, 26 different yeah. pictures, and they have this thrown together here. So, again, another option here. Let me uh, look at comments because I know I haven't been really looking at those. All right, all right, all right. All right, Matthew Pate. I put up some blank comic books up and have sold, had to push ads, but a few sold recently. Yeah, AMS ads for KDP, as long as you've done the research previously to know that there's a buying audience are a great way to like kickstart your sales. Um, you don't have to run them forever. If you run them and get a few sales and you bump up the search rankings, all of a sudden you're getting organic traffic, turn them off, right? Let's see what else we have in here. Couples activity books. Could that be, could, could be that you challenge each other to a Zidoku puzzle so you have to sell two books so they can challenge each other or two of each puzzle in the book. I think it'd be more along things. We actually got a um, couple's adventure book, I want to say it's called. Uh, when we got married, someone gifted it to us. Uh, and it's actually a scratch offs inside. So you scratch it off an activity and then you go and do it. Um, you don't have a say, you just, you have to go and do it. So, you know, that's an option. Sure. You can't do like a scratch off page or anything in there, but there are things you can do where, you know, it's 30 date night ideas, activities. That's I'm thinking it's more or less that direction than like Sudoku's yeah, and, or anything. And don't try to push people to buy like more than one book on your book page. Right. So if, if that's what you're thinking, if I'm understanding that correctly, um, put multiple things inside of one book. So that's the only thing they have to buy, because as soon as you ask them to do something else, you're going to like, split them off. They're going to get confused. 
if you say click the brand name, like half the people won't even read that or see it. So one book, as soon as you get them on the page, your only goal is to have them click buy now. <laughs> um, but getting them on the page is what we started with, right? Doing this research, finding the keywords people are actively searching so that we can create books exactly for that keyword so that you can get the customer on the page. Yes, Matthew, Affinity Publisher is on sale for $24.99. It is. Um, you know, a lot of people probably do use BookBolt Designer uh, just because Photoshop, Illustrator, Affinity, um, InDesign, all of those take you know, time to learn. It is an amazing deal. Don't yeah. get me wrong. It's an amazing deal. Um, but just be, if you're new to graphic design, be prepared to, you know, go to Udemy and take a course. Uh, that's there's, probably going to, there's definitely a learning curve, man. Like when I first huge. had to use Photoshop and I installed it, there's like 400 options on the screen. I'm like, all right, I'm going to have to, you know, youtube.com every single thing. Like, how do I draw a straight line? Well, I had no idea. Right? You hold shift. I know. Well, I know that now, but you know, so yeah, if you're going to use those type of tools, definitely learning curve. If you're brand new and you just want to get a few things up, um, there's a designer inside of BookBolt, which is, uh, I made it as easy as possible to use because I have a problem with with figuring things out with other design tools. But hey, it's, it's what works best for you and your business. Um, at the end of the day, we want you guys to upload stuff. So whichever tool makes sense for you guys, that's what we want you to use. Uh, what's the price range for coloring books? Oh, all over the place. I mean, it depends upon how many pages you have. You know, how much did you pay for the images? Maybe you created them yourself. Um, how how in depth are the images? Are they just simple line drawings like we were looking at? Or are they like really intricate? Maybe they're color by number type drawings. Mm -hmm. So if you let's just say you have a decently sized coloring book, you know, fifty to one hundred pages, you can probably charge a lot more than you can for like a simple uh, twenty five page book. Most certainly. Um, you know, kids things I would price a little bit cheaper because they're usually a lot more simple. You know, the graphics yeah. inside and um, you know, sure, I might have to type up a page of instructions for certain things, but other than that, they're very simple. Um, you know, an adult coloring book, I usually will price a little bit higher if as long as it's something detailed for the simple fact that it costs me a little bit more to get made by, you know, my designers. Um, or, you know, I have created a few coloring pages myself from hand on my iPad. Took me a very, very long time, uh, and those books are priced higher. But uh, I'm like, Neil, I can use Photoshop, but I suck at drawing. I suck at creating clip art and drawings. You know, you know what I should do, or we should do? We should do a video of, like, going to hire someone, you know, from beginning to end. You know, I have a few on, like, the Merchant Former blog, mm -hmm. but they're all blogs. Like, I should do a video of, like, logging into Upwork. Like, here's how to do it. Because I think people get scared away from like oh my gosh i don't want to be in charge of someone else i have no idea how to do this how to pay them what to look for i think that if you guys are if you guys think that's a good idea let me know if you think it's a we'll terrible do one. idea tell me how bad of an idea it is i don't care um that just that'd be fun to head. do that'd be it, fun to do though it would and then and then maybe whoever we find since i have plenty of designers we just pass it off to someone in the comments and they can design something for them let's All see right. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, help me understand coloring book images. Do you pay Fiverr? Are there tools help? I don't draw. So I don't draw either. Um, I have a few things. Like if you actually go to, if we're friends on Facebook, if you go into my photos on my personal Facebook page, um, there's two things on there. There's a dabbing cat and an elephant I drew. Um, and that's about as far as I can go with coloring. Um, it took quite a while for me to do, but yeah. Um, Upwork, Fiverr, online jobs, free up, freelancer. I mean, there's a bazillion. Uh, so what you're what you're looking for is you're not looking for like PNGs. You're looking for vectors. Okay, so like lined vectors. A vector is just like an SVG file. It means you can blow it up as big as you want, as small as you want, and they're not going to pixelate, right? And if you're doing multiple size books, or you're like, hey, I don't want to tell this guy a specific dimension. Just get me a vector. You can make sure it's big as small as you want. Nothing, it's going to print properly, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So you want um, line vectors when you outsource this stuff. Yes. And when I first outsource, I give them random ideas. I'll tell you that now. I, the first few times I hire someone, I will give them ideas that I know aren't out there. Like it will literally be a monkey riding a unicorn, holding a beer in one hand and a piece of pizza in the other with a cowboy hat on. Because 
I want to see their actual skill. I want to see, because there's going to be nothing else out there like that. And that will allow them to kind of open up their mind. And one, they're not going to be able to steal from it. So if they never finish it, you know, they were probably just going to steal, sell stolen images. And two, it's going to let them be creative um, and kind of say, you know, this is the style I do without any reference. All right. Tim Massey, my experience with AMS is while easy tends to get expensive with low margins. So that's where it's going to come down to how much you are pricing your book at. So you, you're going to have to do some math. I know people are like, oh, look at I spent this much and made this much. It's like, no, you didn't. You have to like take into account um, what the, your, your uh, what am I trying to say? Your margin on that book. Like you have to take into account you didn't make $7.99 a book. You only made this mount because you have to pay KDP or KDP takes that out um, when they print the book. So one, making sure you know your margin on each book sold. And two, when you're setting up your AMS ads, for some reason, AMS always says like, oh, we we suggest like a $3 <laughs> bid on this keyword. It's like, no. Um, the first thing I do is I always jack that way down. Way, 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 way down. And then from there, I might start bumping it up, watching the results. Like, are am I going to get impressions on this keyword? Maybe at 20 cents a keyword, I don't get any impressions. Then I'm like, okay, maybe I need to bump that up a little bit because everyone else is beating me for that keyword. AMS is basically like a pool of people, right? You bid really high, you're going to show up number one, and they're going to put you number one first. But as soon as your ad spend runs out, like then they're going to bump it down to the next person because Amazon wants to make the most money. So it really just depends on what you're bidding on your keywords. You have to test that stuff. Otherwise, like it will get expensive and you'll have no idea what's going on because you need you haven't optimized your ads, right? You might have one keyword like coloring book. You have a very specific type of coloring book. You're bidding on coloring book. It's eating up all your ad spend. People are looking at it. No one's buying. Like, what does that tell you? It tells you that your keyword is too broad. Right? You have a very specific niche. You're spending all your ads on a very broad keyword. People aren't buying it. You need to cut that out of your keyword spend or your ad spend. Right, So that means once you've ran your ads for a while, now do a manual campaign and get rid of all the losers so you only have your winners. Boom. Long-winded, long-winded, <laughs> long-winded answer to AMS, but uh, it's so important. Otherwise, you're just going to lose your shirt. Um, mm -hmm. ads. let's see and do you guys think it is possible to run long-term ads in a profitable acos uh it costs area with books and low margin area five to seven dollars yes you have to watch it very very closely um and if things like um you know things like christmas coloring book when christmas comes around that's going to be extremely expensive to bid against okay that's going to be extremely expensive to get your impressions and clicks and sales from so something like that you know it's probably not going to be as oh you Jake, run it there he is you're back oh <laughs> where did i let where did i get cut at like five seconds ago oh, okay so like ads there's some um, niches i'm in that I lose five, ten, twenty dollars up front to get the book ranked on the first few pages. Um, sales start coming in, then organic sales start coming in because it gets bumped up in the search results. And now that ad is just running at a very low cost and it just kind of trickles in sales and kind of keeps it where it's at. And then all the organic um, sales kind of fluctuate with it as well. But um, it's going to have to be those smaller niched areas. You're not going to want to compete against composition notebook for back to school. Um, that's going to be extremely expensive. And think about like in that range, if you set your bid to like a dollar, you have to convert at 50% for it to make any sense. I don't know anyone who converts at 50% anywhere. Um, so it, it just depends on the keyword and your bidding strategy. Like you have to watch that um, and think in the back of your mind, like, okay, what conversion rate do I need to break even? What conversion rate do I need to make money? Like breaking even is, is fine, right? Because that breaking even on ad spend and sales can actually push your book up the results and all of a sudden, the organic traffic comes in. And now you're making money. It just depends on what strategy you guys want to run. Well, um, go ahead. Uh, can we sell our Amazon coloring books on Etsy? Well, no. Your Amazon coloring books, no. Um, but if you find a print-on-demand place that will fulfill for you and maybe connects to Etsy, 
then yes. The easy answer, no. Um, the long tail, possible. Um, possibly. I know there's some print-on-demand people out there, print-on-demand fulfill, pod fulfillment companies out there that do do notebooks and things, but um, the one I was recently looking at, they did not let you do. It was just lines. You just did the cover. You got no options on interior or anything. So um, you might even be able to reach out to them like, hey, I have this coloring book. It does you know, X amount of sales on Amazon every month. It does really, really well. I see you guys offer these books, but it's only line. Is there anything we can work out so I can sell these on Etsy as well or my Shopify site or whatever it might be? Or you know, like you'd have to read the term of service, but let's say you have one that's crushing it on Amazon. You could hypothetically speaking, order yourself 500 author copies and then just manually fulfill them if you're selling them on Etsy. Now, I have no idea if that's a good idea. I've never done it, but something to think about. Love that idea. Do you trust the AMS reports about your impressions? Uh, yeah, I have no reason to not trust them. Um, impressions yeah. are just that they got seen, right? It's not a click. It just means that someone typed in a keyword. They saw your product. They did not click your product. And that doesn't mean they actually saw it either because like my eyes, like I don't ever look at like, there's the banner along the top. Now the, uh, where you have like your three or four products along the top. That's one of the ad types. Um, like I don't even ever look at those. Like, like it doesn't even come to like my field of view when I'm just shopping on scroll. Amazon. Yeah. It's just instant scroll. So like that still counts as an impression, even though the person didn't actually see it, you know, with their own eyes, they didn't, you know, look at your product. So and then lastly, Puzzle Wiz isn't working at all for me. It says something went wrong. Try again later. Um, so we just moved Puzzle Wiz to a new server. You guys should have gotten an email. Um, I can test it out after this. Otherwise, send me a message. But that should be nice and fast um, to create those puzzles. Um, so just let me know after we get off the live here and I can take a look into it. Yep, It could be a CSV issue. It could be possibly you were trying it during the server move. Um, Neil messaged me two days ago now, maybe Hey, he was like, Hey, you know, the servers are being moved as we speak. Um, then he messaged me like, Hey, it's all done. I went on there and uh, we were chatting earlier and I was like, Holy crap. That thing loads instantly now. It's a lot faster. So yeah. All right, let's see. So can I sell Kindle books on Etsy? Um, but I would have to fulfill them. There are two, two different marketplaces. Um, you're going to sell Kindle books on Kindle. You're going to sell paperback books through KDP, which is again on Amazon. If you want to sell those physical books, the physical book, right? The thing that they print after you order it, you'd have to order a bunch of those. Yes. I'm selling it. That you know, to me, physical sounds, books. That to me sounds just awful. Um, I would not want to do that, but it just really depends on, hey, maybe you have a book that's selling a thousand copies a month. Well, well, then it might make sense. Yeah. Um, just It just really depends. Yep. So I use Puzzle Wiz all the time. Love it. No errors. I'm happy to hear that, Patty. Awesome. Uh, really can happy I, to hear can that. Can I place the Amazon order and have Amazon mail it to the customer? If you have Prime, no, you can't. Um, that is against their terms of service. That will probably get your Amazon account banned. So please do not do that. Um, let me see here. I'm going to hop off this live for a second because I just got four times in a row Amazon one-time password. Do not share it with anyone. So I'm going to hop off here and go change my passwords real quick, and then I will join back, okay? Cool. All right. Does anyone else have any other questions that I can answer? Any at all? I need to find the Facebook so I can see comments. How's it going, Iara? So we can't add coloring pages inside our activity books. Patty, yet you can add coloring pages inside your activity books. Um, let me go ahead and show you. Let me see if I can share my screen here. Share screen. This one. All right. If you guys can see my screen here, if you want to add pages to your books that you already have, um, bookbolt.io, under resources, if you go to the interior PDF combiner, you're going to see a screen that looks like this. Um, if you click these pluses, they're going to be all the interiors that we offer people. Um, you can simply click these and add them in here. Um, but if you are talking about mixing and matching, like activity book pages, um, puzzles, coloring book pages, you want to go over to the upload tab here, and you'll just upload your PDFs. Okay? So if you take a PDF, let me see if I can find one on my desktop here. Um I had one the other day. 
I think I threw it in the trash. But anyway, you just drag it and drop it here. Wait till you see a check mark. That means it's been uploaded. And then when you come back here and you click one of these, you'll see it pop up at the top and you'll just select it. Um, and then you'll just select bleed or no bleed and, you know, a size and you download it. So that is how you'd want to uh, mix and match different books, either puzzles, coloring pages, um, all of the pages that we offer you guys. Just depends on what you're making. Anything else while we wait for either Jacob to come back or maybe I will wrap this up in a second here. Who teaches Mandela drawings? I want to learn more. Um, there are a few programs that do that. I don't know too much about them. I actually pay someone to create those. So that might be something to look into, um, but I am not sure. I'm trying to create cryptogram puzzles, follow the instructions about how the CSV should look, but I always get errors. Um, if you're having trouble with the CSVs, please put in a help ticket so we can actually look at the CSV that you're uploading. Um, when I have problems to find enough relevant keywords to fill the seven boxes, is it better to add the less relevant keywords or better to leave it free? Because I don't want to hurt my list. Okay, Marvin, so when it comes to adding keywords to your boxes, you don't have to fill out all 50 characters, okay? So just put the relevant information into those boxes. If it's not relevant, don't add it. So yeah, let's just say you're doing a puzzle book for farm animals. Yeah, you can put in cows, chickens, pigs, all that stuff. It's relevant to the niche, but there's no reason to go in there and start putting random keywords that you think get searched if they're not relevant at all to the book. Uh, looks like Jacob is back. Hello. Alrighty, just changed all my passwords. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever get that? Uh, rarely. Really? I, uh, I've, I've never gotten that to be, to be honest. I, don't, if you, I think... don't know if you can see my phone screen here, but all of those are one-time <laughs> passwords for just now. So someone was trying real hard there. Awesome. So well, please uh, do not steal Jacob's accounts. Not allowed. They need anyways, to have three-step authentication. Man, two-step authentication is enough. Like, I think that's the pain. It's, a, it, it's necessary, <laughs> but it's a pain. It, it, it can be a pain, especially like because I have this computer, I have my iMac, and then I also have my MacBook I work from sometimes. So it's like my passwords are so long now that I get to another computer and I try like 45 different <laughs> passwords and finally get it. And then it's like, okay, now where's my phone? Because I need to get the text message to see the code I have to type in. Yep. And sometimes it depends. The text message is late. And Anyways, guys, totally off topic. Jacob and I do that way too often. Are there any more questions on what we went over today? Finding keywords, um, researching keywords, results, what to look for, anything of that nature, um, because that is where the money's made. It's not necessarily made on when you upload a book. It's made way before that when you figure out what to sell people. Yes, it is. Why we wait, see if there's any questions, because there is a delay here. Um, next Friday, not tomorrow, but the following Friday, it's May 1st, I believe. At 9 p.m. Eastern, Neil and I will be hosting the first annual or bi-weekly uh, or maybe weekly happy hour. Um, we'll be on Zoom, so we'll both be on here just like this. We'll have a drink. Um, come in there. Come hang out. Ask questions. Make yourself a drink, you know, no matter what. Uh, maybe your favorite drinks is lemonade. Have yourself a lemonade. Um, Neil's going to probably be drinking some Coronas. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. I got to go get some. So, you know, come hang out, come ask questions. We'll be talking about a lot of different things uh, and we'll, you know, come to, come meet us face to face almost, uh, you know, virtually as best as you how can. Many, how many people can we have in that Zoom call? Do you know? Uh, my Zoom can hold up to 400 people, I want to say. Okay. So, yeah, you don't have to turn your camera on. You can if you want. Um, there's not like a specific agenda. It's just we're all stuck at home. Um might as well get on, do something different. So I think we'll be doing that May 1st, right? May 1st, next Friday, next okay. Friday. So yeah, I don't see any more questions, so I think that will be good. Thank you guys um, for sticking around. I know this was a little bit random. Um, oh, one more question before we get off. Best, fast way to get niche keywords for crosswords and word finds. Look at what's already selling. Um, would be my one find a niche you want to go into right so like let's say you're doing a cow crossword okay so in order to find the keywords one you want to look into the cow niche right and two 
just look at crosswords. So you're basically combining two niches. Find other products that are selling in both of those niches. Pull out relevant keywords. Put those in a list. That's what you want to add because those are going to be relevant to both of the products that you basically just push together. All right, Jacob. Thank you so much for uh, sticking around. It's been yep. fun. About Always. 15, 47 minutes in. Yep. Appreciate all you guys watching. We'll probably do this again. If Oh, one last thing. If there's anything else you want Jacob or I um, to cover in either video or blog post or any kind of other form, please let us know. Um, we have a large list we're going to work through, but we can always uh, have some more suggestions. Always. We help you guys out. And uh, while we're home, what a good way to do it. So, again, thank you, guys. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you, Neil. Thank you, everyone, for watching. We'll be back again live one day here soon, I'm sure. Perfect. All right. Later, guys.